So you're new to Fallout 76, and you want to learn the ropes. Well, you're in luck, because today I'm going to show you five basic tips of knowledge to help progress your journey through the wasteland. So let's get right into it. Grab a drink, some snacks, and let's learn something. Wasteland tip number one. Don't build in popular blast zones. In Fallout 76, there's around two to three popular blast zones. Those consist of Mononga Mine, which is where you fight the colossal boss that goes by the name Earl. It's located northwest-ish. This isn't an early game area, so you don't really have to worry about it. The map marker looks like this. Another place you really don't want to build is Fisher Site Prime. This is where you fight the Scorch Beast Queen. And the last thing that you want is to have your base in the forefront of that fight. And trust me, you do not want to end up like this guy. Wasteland tip number two, ability loadouts and builds. Located in the crafting tab of your camp is something called a punch card machine. You might ask, what the hell is that? Well, this was added a little over a year ago and allows you to have multiple builds on a single character. Whereas before, you had to make and level up an entirely new character if you wanted multiple builds. So this also allows you to move around your special points Whereas before, you would have had to reach level 50, then every level after that, you could move only a single special point. So be glad you're new now. They're also located at every single railroad station vendor and at every faction's HQ. Wasteland tip number three, inventory management. If you ever find yourself stranded while overweight, and don't want to drop those items, try and find a workbench. It'll allow you to scrap weapons and armor and also break down your junk. And if you're okay with dropping a little bit of money, Fallout First gives you a tent and a scrap box with unlimited storage space for your junk. Managing the limited inventory space that you have goes a long way with making it easier for you to loot what you want when you want. In the early days of Fallout 76, we only had 400 pounds of storage in our stash boxes. Now we have 1,200. But that still goes fast when you just throw whatever you want in there, just junk here, junk there. Break down junk items before placing them in your box. Wasteland tip number four, scrapping items for modifications. In order to upgrade your weapons in Fallout 76, you must learn some mods for it. And the easiest way is to craft the weapon you want mods for and then scrap it for a chance at unlocking a random mod for it. To maximize efficiency, throw on the perk card called Super Duper. It gives a 30% chance to craft double the item for the price of one. I crafted five knives and ended up with nine. The higher your luck, the higher of a chance you'll dupe an item. When crafting energy weapons for mods, make sure to throw on Science Expert 2. It'll lower the cost of building. When scrapping these items, make sure to use the perk card called Scrapper. The higher your intelligence, the higher chance you have at learning a mod. Wasteland tip number five, making friends. Making friends is a very, very important part of your Fallout 76 journey. They'll be able to help you. You can help them. You guys will do missions together, events, anything like that. Fallout 76 was made to be played with friends. It is so much better with friends. Everything it has to offer is a better when you play it with friends. You'll have funnier moments. Obviously, you can play the game alone. That's a no-brainer. But think about meeting somebody. Think about saying hi to somebody. If you see someone around, invite them to a team, start a conversation, trade. You know, it's all about exploring. Exploring doesn't, doesn't just mean exploring the environment. Explore friendships. Have fun. Meet people. If you don't have any friends, you can use my comment section as a way to find some. Drop your gamer tag and the platform that you play on and see if any other people are on the same platform as you and make some friends. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took me a very long time to make it. So please like, comment, subscribe, and you know I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.